put this ad in the paper, your phone is going to be ringing off the hook. You're going to get every person that wants to buy this way calling you. You're going to get every realtor that wants to list the, ad, the property for you. You're going to get every investor in the area that doesn't know what you're doing to try to figure out what in the world you're what? Doing. You're doing. So when you don't hang up on them, if they haven't driven by the property, if they're interested, are they going to call you back? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And they're going to say, hey, we got disconnected. And you're going to say, no, we didn't. I hung up on you. <laughs> And then they're going to go, why? And we're going to say, because you haven't driven by the what? Property. Go drive by the property, and then what? And then hang up again. If they're serious, are they going to go drive by the property? Yes. Absolutely. Again, I've said it time and time again. Constantly weeding people in, and weeding people what? Out. If they say they have driven by the property, we ask them a hard question about it. What color was it? Uh, and if they can't tell us what color it was, chances are they drove by the wrong what? Oh. Property. If they tell us what color it was, we interview them. We do not allow them to interview what? Us. Oh. The first thing you're going to ask is, how did you find out about us? Or what about our ad caught your attention? And here's why. These three days, I told you I'm teaching you all how to be lazy, right? Right. How to properly go find the sellers, find the buyers, find the deals. In our advanced trainings, we teach you how to be super lazy. But super lazy the right way. Meaning, it's all about marketing. It's all about getting the deals to come to you. To get the buyers to come to you. To get the sellers to come to you. And you've got to pull every phone call that comes through your office or your cell phone to find out how they found out about you. Because what you're doing is you're figuring out what marketing efforts are working, and the ones that are working, what are we going to do? <laughs> We're going to duplicate. And the ones that aren't working, what are we going to do? Oh. Now, you ask them... How much can they reasonably afford? How much can you reasonably afford to put down? How much can you reasonably afford for a monthly payment? Do not allow them to ask you. Because if you tell them that you need X amount down and X amount a month, they'll be like, cool, I love it. I'm going to keep a look at it. And they'll never what? They'll never show up. What in this case if they tell us they can only afford about 900 a month, and they can only afford about four grand to put down. What are we going to tell them? Because we need how much a month? We need 1080. How much do we need down? A little over six grand, right? I won't even say that. I'm going to say, you know what? This property is not for you. However, <laughs> give me your name. Give me your number, and I will go what? I'll go buy something for you. There's, I mean, in Detroit, only 5,700, or was it 7,500 of them, whatever, ready to come. And that's in Detroit City. Oh, we're not talking the county. We're not talking Southville. We're not talking Wayne County, Oakland County. I can go on and on, right? There's lots of possibilities out there. There should be no reason we're not making money hand over fist in this business. If they tell us, Angela, they can afford that X amount down, and they can afford that month a month, that much a month, then great. Tell me if this sounds familiar. I'm sure you would love to see the property, so why don't we go meet me there Saturday morning at what? 9 a.m. with your what? Deposit. Same thing we did what? Yesterday. We're just plugging in a different one. Stretch. What happens is you pull up, everybody's there, the same thing you did yesterday. Hey, who was here first? first. Oh. And then you bring them in. And then that first person likes it, guess what? They get it. As long as they well, go through the application process, right? right? And now you've got eight other people in the front yard that we have to go buy houses for. Darn. 
Does this make sense? Yes. Yeah.